Bark and Tark and just it's going not. to his bark and stuff. People! Oops. How cool is this, right? Because you spent your whole life doing other people's stuff. And now you're doing your own stuff. And while you're doing your own stuff, all you can think about is what if other people are doing your stuff, right? What if George Jones would have done it tomorrow? What if George Strait would have done two of a kind working on a full house, right? Oh man, I love this song at home. Hey, she's my lady looking on her wild card, man. Together we're building up a real pocket. We live out in the country. She's my little queen of the south. Yeah. <laughs> your way in, fight your way out of the place. You were the bartender, you were the bouncer, you were the entertainer, right? But man, it reminds me of this place a lot because it was always packed. I got nine, ten people in there every day, right? Oh my. But it seemed like you guys had in this, people. This was the place where you learned the craft of songwriting, right? This is where you're down the ditches and you're learning how those lyrics and those melodies weave those tapestries together that stand long beyond your own generation, right? Songs of tolerance, songs of peace, songs of wisdom, songs of love, songs like, uh, well, I was drunk, the day my mom got out of prison, Puppies. so I went bigger than the rain. Battery's gonna go off. And people, Willie's teaches you the greatest, uh, the greatest lesson ever for any entertainer is know your audience. The drinking age was 18 then, so you gotta know. You're playing the 16-year-old then on fake ideas, right? All the way up to the 26-year-old okay, 